that generosity, that charity as part of this month has really kind of touched me. I've been really touched by that camaraderie as part of Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. <laughs> a British MP by the name of Paul Bristow, yes one of Boris Johnson's cronies has decided to fast for seven days in Ramadan yeah or how these far right people like to call it Ramadan. That's it guys yes 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 Paul is now a Muslim that's right He's now one of us mate. <laughs> Alright Paul, the floor is yours. Hello, I'm Paul Bristow, Conservative MP for Peterborough and this is day seven of my week-long fast to mark Ramadan. I did it and I did it really to better represent the many thousands of my constituents that are Muslims, to understand more about what they undertake each and every year and to find out what Ramadan means for them. That is brilliant, especially in this day and age and the current climate that we're living in where Islamophobia is becoming state-sponsored, institutionalized and let's face it, pretty common. So for you mate to go out of your comfort zone and reach out to the Muslims, respect Paul, respect. Because nowadays despite what other people were saying to you it's not cool or it's not considered cool to support Muslims publicly so when somebody does you know they got a spine mate. And another thing I wanted to say Paul is that fasting is not exclusive only to Muslims for Allah tells us in the Quran that every single religious community before us were told to fast as well. You may have heard Paul that the Quran was revealed in the month of Ramadan but also every other Abrahamic book as well. So Ramadan or Ramdam, however someone wants to pronounce it, what? is a very blessed and significant month. Now I get the fact Paul that you weren't eating or drinking and you know what mate, that's, that's brilliant. I know some people are saying oh you're just remaining hungry, they're kind of right but they're kind of wrong. They're wrong because you're not a Muslim so naturally you can't do Ramadan justice. Yeah, You're a non-Muslim so you can only get a feel of an aspect of fasting and you know what Paul you did good mate yeah I thought you did good but ideally Paul Ramadan Allah tells us himself that Ramadan is so we can gain taqwa yeah taqwa is loosely translated as God consciousness but in essence it's just getting closer to God yeah because you're abstaining not only from food Paul yeah it's from uh, obscenities, from profanities, from looking at that which is not right, from saying that which is not right and etc etc you know what I'm saying. Did you know that the likes of Pythagoras, Socrates, Plato, Confucius, Leonardo da Vinci all of these people would fast and fasting was a common practice amongst philosophers and academics but nowadays you probably know this Paul you know how it is being involved in politics big pharma are very powerful you know what I'm saying so if people are continuously eating and especially with the fake you know artificial diets that we have naturally a person is gonna fall ill more and big pharma makes more money yeah they keep selling pills so naturally fasting is not something that's promoted within our society because it's not within the interests of the powers that may be. Much respect to you Paul but if you were to have a conversation with your party leader Mr Boris Johnson he'd probably say what are you following these letterboxes for? But it has irritated me some of the comments I've received and just others just generally being rude about what I'm doing. There you go Paul, you have now faced a fraction of what Muslims face on a daily basis and let's, let's be realistic Paul, it's because of Boris yeah and the Islamophobia and racism that he's been peddling. Now before you start rolling your eyes, let's face it, he's called black people, pickaninnies with watermelon smiles, 
he's called he's dehumanized muslim women as letterboxes because of that you might be thinking you know what that's a bit weak all right paul then why is it that he was being endorsed by the likes of tommy robinson and everyone should vote for boris johnson katie hopkins Britain first. What to say about Islam and that, innit? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? So why don't you say it now? What do you want me to say? It's yeah? Just ideology, it's got no place. Yeah? yeah? It's got no place, bro. Like, how on earth can you get endorsed by someone that's filled to the brim with hate? If you want to say I'm against Islam, that's yeah. fine, yeah? yeah. Huh? That's what I am against. Even Donald Trump. Mr. Donald Trump. Endorsed Boris Johnson. I think Islam hates us. Mr. Dolan Trump. And let's face it, these aren't the types of people that you call to your nan's tea party, even if she does make the best scones in the land. Yet this is the party that you're a part of. And the only reason I'm saying this, Paul, is not just to put you and your party down, but it's so you can take this experience and actually do something with it. Because you felt a fraction of what Muslims feel. And this is a message to my fellow Muslims. Just because our friend Paul has fasted doesn't now make him and his policies infallible. Yeah, he's still part of the Conservative Party and his policies still do need to be scrutinized before he gets your vote. Alright guys, let's leave it there. Until next time. Well it's uh, just about 20 past 8 and so I'm going to enjoy this. Asalaamu Alaikum.